move further i'll make you familiar with the various tools and menus over the gui as of now asbase administration service is a console is a interface for the technical user this is a development tool where you make actual development likewise in oracle we have various interfaces pl sql plus we have uh, sql developer there are various interfaces which connect to your oracle and where you perform all operations so you need some interface right asbase administration service is an interface asbase administration server is a actual engine so this is the one i explained you previously so yeah miss is valid asbase administration service is basically user interface asbase asbase server or asbase analytical server is basically a actual engine which process your request you can see when you start when i start asbase server i say asbase server or services 111311 it's a asbase.exe which is running in the background all the time to serve your request so every time you make a request your asbase server is the person who completes your request so this is actual engine it's same as your oracle.exe what oracle data when you say oracle server it's oracle.exe it's a background process running all the time every time you submit a request your server reads the request and respond to you so you find asbase.exe running all the time asbase.exe it's your asbase server running then only your user request are uh, served asbase.exe this is not something which directly visible to us every time user submits a query it goes over here so we do not how do we connect to asbase server through some interface we do not connect direct connect to the server directly we connect to it through some interface the next component this is also a legacy it coming from old days we'll talk about asbase integration service there is a separate chapter for this what it does without this also it works suppose i have got rdbms i say rdbms has a transactional data some transactional data now we want to build queue on top of this asbase queue so what asbase integration service does as the name indicate eis asbase integration service simplify the integration between relational database and asbase queue it works as a bridge between rdbms and asbase queue simplify the integration process even without this um, we can connect to as rdbms it is more like a management strategy in the old days when a uh, hypn company used to sell oracle product sorry hypn asbase they do not they do cost this additionally it was used to be a separate license so people who want to perform quick queue building you know they want simplify the queue building process some of them used to buy this but nowadays it's complete a one integrated solution uh the next to this is your client interface right spreadsheet admin so i put over here as base spreadsheet this is addins so you can see in excel there's a menu appear over here called as base right so remain connected to you are in excel remaining connected to excel you can perform all the operation so it facilitate your user uh, they don't have to learn a new interface and you know business user favorite tool is excel they can play around with asbase queue without choosing or opting on any new interface in fact the asbase itself means extended spreadsheet database 
So it is a database which extends the capabilities of any spreadsheet. So this is a favorite tool. And let me tell you the great success behind Aspace. This is one of the major reasons. Your, your business user quickly adopt this tool. If users adopting the tool, naturally people will buy the product and the product will grow. So it has very, very high adoptability in the old days. It's still, it is the first product which integrated BI compared in Excel sheet. And later on, other companies started following business object, Cognos, you know, Microsoft. Okay, uh, next we have a SBA Studio. Okay, let me one, one more thing. Space Smart View. Okay, there was a limit, as I said, Oracle, after Oracle acquire, a lot of things are changed. As far as spreadsheet added has one flaw, one flaw only, is only for as base solution. This is designed for only for as base solution. And they came up, on the same pattern, they came up another component called Smart View. If you are a business user or if you are a functional consultant, the Smart View is a is a great weapon for you, great tool for you for data analysis. Smart view and spreadsheet added, you can call them as the same category. But smart view designed for all high PA products, which include high PM planning, HFM, and various other products. Reporting. We want to integrate all high PM products with Excel sheet. So you can see Hypian also coming over here. So when you're working in Hypian planning, we'll discuss about this. Remaining Excel sheet, you can work in planning, Hypian financial management, reporting, analysis, everything you can do, perform calculation, creating reports. Everything is a just a mouse click away. So this is also another interface for the business user. In fact, this is a powerful interface these days. See. Right from the first day of Hyper implementation, their, their theme was going away from programming. They want to provide a simplified solution to the client so that without any IT support, they can perform all the tasks. Their motto was enable business users to perform all operation without IT support. A kind of they are killing our job, but all operation per pertaining to not system administration, all this infrastructure related, all business operation. So basic tasks like fetching data, creating report, doing everything, you know, this is what they want to do it. Therefore, they came up with this tool. They don't want the business user should be dependent on IT, the basic operation. Whoever has a basic knowledge of computers, how to operate mouse and keyboard, should be able to fetch the information. With this idea, they introduced a couple of products. Smart View fall under the same category. Okay, the Smart View works along with provider services. Provider services should be, it's a service should be up and running all the time, then only we can use Smart View. So you can assume them for now as a single solution. Next is SB Studio. Now, again, when Oracle acquired, Oracle supposed wanted to give some additional solution to the client. The, they had the great success of Hyperion products. What Oracle did, Oracle started integrating various products with Hyperion. Siebel, PeopleSoft, uh, e, uh, ERP, uh, your Oracle Business Suite, uh, you know, JD AdWord. In the same category, they introduce a new solution called Asbe Studio, which is a next generation tool for Asbe's integration service. It is a 10 year old product. Naturally, 10 years before, my business requirement was different. We used to have a relatively small data, and the technology is rap rapidly growing. Therefore, they created another UI for Quick development. Aspace Studio. What is this? This is IDE. 
called integrated development environment the overall purpose of this is to quick development of as space cube that was the objective so as base studio uh, is another component is a next generation solution for as space integration service for quick development of as base solution is a multi tier solution okay uh, first we talk about so this is your user the user works as a client tier right I also talk about what is the Oracle roadmap. The Oracle roadmap is completely to do not provide a customized solution to the user. We are trying to push the user to use a smart view. Okay, so for the client tier, business always communicate to client tier. What are the various components? Business can communicate to smart view, which is a major component and as part of Oracle roadmap. Alternatively, people can connect to smart view or Spreadsheet add-in, smart view and spreadsheet add-in. These are two primarily two interface where users are supposed to connect. Next is your administration services for developers. For if you are a developer, you are building cube. This is your tool where you perform all the cube building process, loading data, everything. And then there are certain reporting components like high PM web analysis, financial reporting. They are reporting components which sit on top of SBase. SBase also provides APIs for product developers, application programming interface. So you can design a program in C, C++, Visual Basic to communicate to the SBase server. In case you are into product development and customizing the product, or you want to customize a solution for the client, we do not require API. API is itself a separate separate branch in itself, the separate layer. These are the interface. What is the middle tier? Middle tier primarily we have for a smart view. The middle tier is provider service. For Aspace administration service, Adbase admin console. Your data packet will travel every time user request. If my server located in a different physical location, naturally it's everything is web based these days. So my my request travels using HTTP protocol. So we need a middle tier server. So Aspace admin console required Aspace admin services every user interface require middle tier to process the request so we have got one for provider services for smart view administration services for administration console and for as space integration service Require for as base integration console. So three interface is interface corresponding each interface. There is a middle tier solution. Every time user request, my user uh, located in US, my database, my as base cube located in your in India. Physically, they are different location. How the data packet will travel through 